80s Japanese yuppie pop, more commonly known as city pop, has seen success and amassed a decent fan base in recent years. This has brought on a second wind of popularity for artists like Anli, Maria Takeuchi, and Tomoko Aran. There are some artists from this magical bubble era that had potential to contribute to this unique and nostalgic genre, though simply never saw a professional release, if any release at all. This was, unfortunately, the case for Yasuko Endo, a model and actress set to debut her very first single. This single never saw a release, however, due to her untimely death at only 17 years old. This single, officially titled In the Distance, being an elusive piece of lost media, possibly even the holy grail of city pop lost media. Let's rewind though. Yasuko Endo, known by her friends and family as simply Yako, was born on October 21st of 1968. She had begun working in the entertainment industry as early as the fifth grade when she belonged to a children's theater company. She briefly attended high school but made the decision to drop out and pursue a modeling career. Endo saw success as a model and was later cast in various acting roles. During her career, Endo had modeled for magazines such as Hanato Yume, Olive, and MC Sister. She had appeared in commercials for Kentucky and Sapporo Ichiban, among many others. Endo did see somewhat of a large role in 1985 when casted in a couple episodes of the massively popular Skeban Deka drama, at the time starring idol Yuki Saito. Endo played Ayumi Mizuchi, a villain featured in the first story arc of the manga. She's also in the 1991 OVA. Mizuchi is a renowned gang leader who is involved in drug deals, extortion of students, and was the daughter of a prominent politician. Skebandeka as a show and manga anime is wild. I highly recommend checking it out, and Endo herself did a great job in this role. Endo started working as a model in 1983, and the Skeban role was in 1985. It was in early 1986, however, when Endo had planned to broaden her horizons and debut as a bona fide idol. At 17 years old, this was a bit later than the debut of most idols. Due to this, her image was a bit more mature and not the typical cutesy Seiko Matsuda type, if that makes sense. Endo was born and raised in Tokyo, and her family lived within the city as well. This served as a great benefit to Endo as her mother had a friend who owned a jazz club in Asakusa. This club served as the setting for her to debut her song In the Distance, as well as cover an Akina Nakamori song. This debut occurred only six days before her passing. Endo had recorded this single with the now defunct Rivstar Records, a label that eventually went under in the early 1990s due to some rather shady dealings with organized crime organizations. The single, titled In the Distance, contained two songs, the titular In the Distance and another track titled Telephone. The songs were composed by a man named Tetsuo Sakurai, most famous for his work as bassist in the group Cassiopeia. Endo's voice was described as mature and husky, and her music was speculated to be ballads in a minor key and similar in style to Yuki Saito's Shiroi Hono, this song being the end theme to Sukebandeka at the time. According to Endo's mother, as well as various magazine reviews at the time, the single was officially completed in February of 1986. This was when the master and some known copies were produced. Known receivers being the magazines and radio stations that reviewed the single, as well as Endo herself, who remarked that she herself was impressed at how great the songs turned out. According to those who knew her, Yasuko Endo apparently had little faith in her singing abilities and was surprised that it actually sounded good. In the Distance was set to have an official national release in May. Promotional material, as well as the singles themselves, were being produced in anticipation of this. It was on March 29th of 1986 when production was cut short. This was the day that Endo had unfortunately passed away. This news was unexpected and sudden. Just weeks later, on April 8th of 1986, the famous idol Yukiko Okada passed away as well. Due to all the negative press from this unfortunate news, Rivstar Records had made the decision to ultimately destroy any and all copies of In the Distance and cancelled its release. 
For that reason, In the Distance was never heard and appreciated by the public. It was never released. The songs Endel herself was proud of were destroyed and life went on without any knowledge of In the Distance and the music within it. The specific song, In the Distance, did live on in other forms, however. The most prominent being Tetsuo Sakurai's own cover in April of 1986 on his album Dewdrops. Because this track came out only one month following Endo's passing, it's unknown if Sakurai's cover was planned in addition to Endo's own single. You can check out this song for yourself, Sakurai's cover is not lost. However, the song lyrics are altered to be from a male perspective instead, so the original by Endo would be different. In addition, Endo's good friend, idol Miho Nakayama, was especially saddened by Endo's passing. Having often modeled together, the two had been good friends since Nakayama was only 12 years old. Miho Nakayama communicated her feelings of grief in her 1988 song, Long Distance to the Heaven, which she wrote and composed herself. This song is not the lost single itself, only meant as a way of remembering Endo. Years went by and the song was thought to be long gone. With no singles surfacing and with Rivstar Records going under in 1993 due to later becoming a front for money laundering. That's right. Rivstar Records, which was once a legitimate record label, eventually became a dummy company for laundering money, likely for the Yakuza. Yes, I'm serious. This was a huge scandal at the time, and Rivstar dissolved shortly after this came to light as they had filed for bankruptcy. It was commonly thought that In the Distance was lost with the company that owned the rights to it. It's completely unknown who even holds the rights to Yasuko Endo's lost single today. What the cover of the single itself looked like wasn't even known. Nothing about the single was known aside from the title. But, what if the single wasn't lost? What if one of those review copies had survived almost four decades later and could at long last be heard? Well, suspicions of a surviving single were confirmed. This was when a Yahoo Auctions listing surfaced in August of 2022. 36 years later, the listing did sell. It sold for only 11,500 yen, which is about 110 US dollars. I, despite being really passionate about this piece of lost media since 2019-ish, did not catch wind of this and I was unable to place a bid. I hadn't been informed that this listing even existed until months later, unfortunately. Though, if I had, I assure you, the single would be in my possession and shared with the world. Not all hope is lost, though. The images from the listing tell quite the story. For starters, we now know what the cover looked like. We also see part of the lyrics to Telephone, as well as some information on Yasuko herself. The information provided includes acting credits, which may suggest that this was a review copy sent to a media outlet. Kind of like a cheat sheet to explain who Yasuko Endo is in a magazine review or a radio segment, perhaps? The coolest element of this discovery, however, being the official catalog number. A number that checks out when comparing it to Rivstar's other releases of the time. Because of this Yahoo Auctions listing surfacing, In the Distance's information is now documented and preserved on Discogs. The music itself, however, remains completely lost. Again, hope is not lost. If anything, it's revived with the knowledge that at least one copy has survived. This means that more copies could be out there and that the single may someday be recovered and preserved. If that does happen, you'll definitely hear about it from me.